Artificial intelligence may be the answer to creating rapid warning systems for volcanic eruptions. Researchers compared over 40 years of seismic data from six volcanoes, three in New Zealand and three in Alaska. They wanted to see if there was a common signal shared between the volcanoes before they blew. Researchers were able to identify patterns in all of the five past Wakari eruptions in the last 12 years. Before each of these eruptions, a seal was forming on the top of the volcano allowing pressure to build, eventually leading to an eruption. The artificial intelligence that researchers used was able to identify when this process was happening. Despite getting a clear signal for the New Zealand volcanoes, their Alaskan counterparts were more unpredictable. Volcanoes in New Zealand have a well-developed hydrothermal system beneath the ground that is beneath the crater. Researchers call them wet volcanoes, and this method seems to work quite well for them. Warning signs of an eruption started to show up around three weeks before the explosion, with the strongest signal occurring just a few days before. Researchers found that the machine learning algorithm was very effective when they didn't know what patterns they were looking for in the data, but suspected a pattern was there. The trial system for looking for these patterns is already up and running at Wakari, the volcano that tragically erupted in 2019. Researchers are now setting their sights on the volcanoes around the world to see if detecting their patterns could also be used to provide warning of wet volcano eruptions globally. Machine learning and gravity signals to rapidly detect big earthquakes. Monitoring speed of light changes in Earth's gravitational field could speed up hazard warnings of earthquakes. Massive earthquakes don't just move the ground, they make speed of light adjustments to Earth's gravitational field. Now, researchers have trained computers to identify these gravitational signals, demonstrating how the signals can be used to mark the location and size of a strong quake almost instantaneously. It's a first step to creating a very early warning system for the planet's most powerful quakes. Such a system could help solve a thorny problem in seismology, how to quickly pin down the true magnitude of a massive quake immediately after it happens. As large earthquakes rupture, the shaking and shuddering send seismic waves through the ground that appear as large wiggles on seismometers. But current seismic wave-based detection methods notoriously have a difficult time distinguishing between, say, a 7.5 magnitude and a 9 magnitude quake in the few seconds following such an event. That's because the initial estimations of magnitude are based on the height of seismic waves called P waves, which are the first to arrive at monitoring stations. But seismic waves aren't the earliest signs of a quake. All of that mass moving around in a big earthquake also changes the density of the rocks at different locations. Those shifts in density translate to tiny changes in Earth's gravitational field, producing elastogravity waves that travel through the ground at the speed of light even faster than seismic waves. Such signals were once thought to be too tiny to detect, but in 2017, researchers reported seeing these elastogravity signals in seismic station data. Those findings prove that there was a window in between the start of an earthquake and the time at which you received the seismic waves. Using a machine learning network designed to identify prompt elastogravity signals, researchers trained computers on a combination of real seismic data collected in Japan and 500,000 simulated gravity signals for earthquakes in the same region. Once trained, the computers were given a test to track the origin and evolution of 2011 Tohoku quake as though it were happening in real time. The result was promising. The algorithm was able to accurately identify both the magnitude and location of the quake 5 to 10 seconds earlier than other methods. This study is a proof of concept and hopefully the basis for a prototype of an early warning system. Researchers want to build something that can work in other areas known for powerful quakes, and later to hopefully build one system that works globally. The results show that this machine learning approach called PEGSNET has the potential to be a powerful tool for early earthquake warnings. Bigger advances could come in the future as researchers develop much more sensitive instruments that can detect even tinier quake-caused perturbations in the Earth's gravitational field while filtering out other sources of background noise that might obscure the signals. Autonomous underwater machines kill giant jellyfish. An underwater robot hunter has been built to seek out and destroy soaring numbers of jellyfish. Jellyfish are proliferating at a rapid rate in some parts of the world, such as Japan, with sightings in British waters also becoming more common. Such vast numbers of the animal pose a risk to the fishing industry because they get caught in the nets, spoil catches, and endanger crews and vessels. With rising ocean temperatures and fewer natural predators, waters around Japan have in recent years been clogged with the moon jellyfish and enormous Nomura's jellyfish, which can grow to 6 feet and weigh 440 pounds. A team of researchers from Hiroshima Institute of Technology set out to create a 3-foot-long, self-driving jellyfish extermination device to suck and crush the animals before ejecting fragments of them back into the ocean. The prototype was found to be highly competent at vanquishing the animals when testing in the laboratory. It will now be deployed in the wild in future experiments to see if it is is able to hunt, hoover up, and exterminate live populations of jellyfish. Researchers wrote in the Journal of Japan Society for Design Engineering that in this experiment, a jellyfish extermination device was mounted on an autonomous underwater vehicle, and a crushing experiment was conducted using a jellyfish sample which is made of water and gelatin. It was confirmed that a jellyfish sample with a diameter of about 7 centimeters and a height of about 11 centimeters could be crushed into small pieces, 
which has an average volume of 2,885 millimeters cubed within about 8 seconds. The theory is that the robot could be carried by ships and then deployed in the water with onboard ultrasonic sensors to track down marine life. Artificial intelligence is then used to determine if the target is a jellyfish. When a jellyfish is identified, a large mouth hose will suck in the creature where jets of highly pressurized water and a turbine will shred the animal to pieces. Engineers are confident a version of the machine will be used in the ocean by 2024. They say it can operate at depths of more than 160 feet for up to three hours before returning automatically to its mothership. Early versions, such as the first of its kind prototype, will target moon jellyfish, which can grow up to 12 inches in diameter. If the prototype proves to be effective, larger robots could be deployed using the same techniques to go after much larger jellyfish, such as Nomura's jellyfish. The robot will help to reduce the burden on fishermen, who have to manually remove jellyfish caught in their nets. The researchers are aiming to develop a robot in the future that can exterminate giant Nomura's jellyfish. Fishery officials estimate that jellyfish cost the country's industry more than $60 million a year, with thousands of reports of damage to fishing equipment every year. With this technology, millions of jellyfish in the region can be cheaply and easily exterminated to make fishermen's jobs easier. The first inhuman application proved successful of AI software for the detection of pancreatic disease. Diseases of the pancreas can have serious consequences for patients and are difficult to diagnose. Early detection is crucial for the patient's chance of survival. In Europe, more than 90% of patients die of pancreatic cancer within the first five years after diagnosis. The key technology here is artificial intelligence, which has now gone into clinical testing with patients as so-called first-in-human applications. The new software has the potential to revolutionize the diagnosis of pancreatic diseases and, above all, the diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. This could be a dream for society as a whole and an important milestone in medicine and for medical technology. The AI software brings together the clinical experience of the world's most experienced gastroenterologists, and it bundles the knowledge of countless examinations of the pancreas in an algorithm in order to transform it into endoscopic ultrasound. The expert knowledge is then used to train a neural network which can recognize pathologically altered areas in the pancreas at an early stage so that the fine needle biopsy can accurately take tissue samples for further analysis and as a basis for therapy decisions. With this AI software, in the future they'll be able to provide gastroenterologists with a virtual expert and give them the opportunity to significantly improve the diagnostics that determine therapy. Very good results have already been achieved in the first clinical applications. Small lesions were detected, even in complex cases. This gives the treating physicians and, above all, the patients great hope for improvement of patient care in the medium term.